you like the video, please like, share, consider subscribing. And also, I am doing memberships. You get early access to these videos, ad-free, all right? No ads running on those. Silver membership, I think the gold membership, you'll get shout outs. I'll read your questions and answer your questions. I'll read your comments and answer your questions if you have any. And I'll do a shout out to you. And then uh, platinum members, wow. Well, you, you get to tell me what videos you want me to make. You get the request videos and suggest videos. Good for people who want to sponsor some videos. And a golf cart came through the tunnel, scared the crap out of me. I was like, ah! All right, everyone, I made it to the clubhouse. I did enjoy the pool. I did get in the pool. And yes, I got wet up to my neck area. And uh, um, I am wearing this high-vis flexi-freeze vest, but it's not, it's not cold anymore. It's not frozen anymore. It is, I think, helping me um, keep cool. But since I'm already kind of damp and wet, even, even uh, my... Uh, my compression tights are wet, my shorts are wet. It's damp wet, it's not soaking wet. Uh, and even my outdoor socks is wet. So everything's pretty much wet and I'm getting a nice breeze here. I'm getting a nice breeze here and uh, man, I feel cool. It turns a very humid, hot wind into a nice cool breeze. So uh, I do like going into the pool. You can see my, my uh, Rad Mini right there. Matter of fact, let me uh, let me take you up here so you can see it a little bit better. There it is. So I don't have the I don't have the back basket. I only have the the front on because well, I, I told you if you have seen my last video, uh, I'm supposed to go to uh, some kind of community uh, community event, and I had to move all the baskets so I could pull the rewrite co-pilot, but that was canceled because it was raining a lot. Anyways, uh, man, it looks nice. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this right there, enjoying the nice lake view. I just got over here from the pool. I just wanted someplace uh, a little bit more quiet where I can uh, do some vlogging here. And uh, it's a little bit more quiet. At least I can do a little vlog. There's people at the pool. And uh, yes, there, there were some <laughs> very hot babes over there. Not too many, not too many cougars though, but uh, uh, some hot babes anyways that's but that's not why I go to the pool of course I go there to relax and cool down and uh, by the time I ride back home I will probably be uh, dry most mostly dry anyway let's get on the ride all right all right let's make a full round trip I'm not sure which way I'll go maybe I'll go through the hidden lake maybe not it's still kind of wet out there. It's been raining like a whole week, so I know there's some really wet areas around here. So I'm not sure how to, quite how to handle this. All right, I think I might know what to do. They just built, uh, a road down this way they built a road down this way and I'm gonna go check it out I haven't seen I haven't been there for like almost like a maybe even two years so let's go check it out let's see what this is all about we're gonna go check it out Wait for the stop sign here. Wait for all the cars to pass by. Well, school may be out. School may be out. There's a middle school over here. All right, I'm down two bars. Been riding a lot. And 
do. Elementary, looks like a little daycare right there next to it. I'm gonna pass by the middle school. I wanna see what's over here. Looks like they built the road out here. Let's see what they got. This is actually an elementary school and a middle school. Got yeah, a little daycare next to it. Everyone's here picking up their kids. Probably pre-K. No, yeah, yeah, I think pre-K. Some of them are pre-K, some of them are middle school. A long time ago, my youngest used to go here pre-K, so I had to ride my bike or driver here. We don't go here no more, but okay. So that's uh, elementary, new elementary school, new pre-K. These are all new homes right here. So let's see what they've done so far. They extended the road. That's what I really want to know. Ugh, I can feel the humid air hit my face, but once it hits my, my damp clothes, it's uh, nice and cool. So what have they done? I'm just checking out what they've done. Yeah, they pretty much just ended it right here last time. This used to be out in the levee. I wonder what they're doing now. Uh, looks like they're not doing much of anything. Well, this used to be a levee here. They built it out. They built the road that goes across. Interesting. So this is all they've done. They've just built homes. Looks like they just built home along the uh, man-made levee. Okay, they built this road. This is the road. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like they, all they've done is just built a road to the man-made along the man-made levee. Let's see how long it goes here. Yeah, it looks like they built it along the. Uh, lake area. Let me see. I'm going to throttle here a little bit. Yeah, it looks like they're just building homes along the, the lake area. There's a little sidewalk over here. I'll check that out later. But yeah, that's all they've done. Oh, a lot of mud here. A lot of wetness. Ugh. The Red Mini has too much torque. It really does. I'm just trying to avoid the mud. I see the mud over there. See a little sidewalk path here. So I want to check it out. I haven't been here. Okay, so all right. Looks like they did open it up a little bit. That's interesting. They opened it up. Uh, they did open it up. It's possible I can kayak all the way where the where the, uh, whatchamacallit place is, uh, the clubhouse, where the deck is, go underneath the tunnel, go underneath that under overpass and come out through here. And this looks like it goes all the way down through there. Wow. Let's just do a little off-roading, just a little. I 
want to see where, where this leads to, this little walkway. It looks like they're eventually going to make a little path, walkway path here. Okay, that's where the, it ends right here. Looks like they're going to make a walkway path here. Looks like it. I just, I'm just trying to take a look. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's just do some, a little off-road here. I'm going to try to avoid a lot of the mud areas. I should probably get into my lower gear. It's a little muddy, but it's hard. It's hard mud. It's packed. I'm standing up. Okay, I have not been here. This is my first time exploring this little area. I want to see how much of a Oh, a ditch there is here. Okay, there's no ditch here. Okay, they didn't really open this up. They didn't open it up. That's just erosion. That's just erosion happening. So they're, they're still closed off, so I can't get through. I thought they cut a little path here. What they do is they're going to dig this out, and they're going to make, they're going to open it up. That's what they're going to do. So that's what's going to be done here. I thought they uh, opened it up, but they didn't. Oh, no, they did. Here it is. Here it is. It, well, it either, it, it's either eroded, and that's why it's flowing. There you go. So it's either eroded or it's, it's uh, hold on here. Let me put the kickstand on. Watch out for that ant mound. I see an ant mound right there. All right. So it's either uh It's either eroded. I see another one over there. It looks like there's probably a really good chance that this eroded and it's just coming out. That's what's probably happening. Um, I don't know if they're going to fix this or not, but uh now that I kind of know that it's here, I might be able to kayak through here. So maybe on another sunny day, I'll take my kayak through here and then I'll be able to kayak all the way down over there. Jeez. I wonder what's, well, I, I already been here before they, uh, before they laked this up. It's, it, I thought it was, it goes into the levee system, basically. There's probably somewhere where they, a levee's uh, holding all the water in. But yeah, that, that might be another place for me to kayak. I'll go through there, through the tunnel. Okay. All right. I love scouting on the Rad Mini. I love scouting on the Rad Mini. Okay, I just got to make sure I watch where I step. Last time, <laughs> last time I stepped on an ant mound. I didn't even know it. and <laughs> They were biting me. Whew. I had my outdoor socks. That helped. But they still got into, they still got to my foot. They still got to my foot. All right, so they still got to my foot. Anyways, let's get going. I'm probably gonna stand up here, use the cramp buster, and just, you know, kind of just control, control throttle. That's what I love about the cramp buster. You get to control throttle it. I'm using my palm to slowly turn the, uh, the throttle, and it helps, it helps. Because when you go on un, when you go on uh, trails like this where it's not even and it's very bumpy, uh, it you don't want to go fast because it, <laughs> you'll you'll feel every bump even with suspension seat post and front fork and everything you'll feel it. And what I love about the 20 inch wheels, they give you a lot of torque, and this particular motor is very torquey. Very, very torquey. 
I'm going to head underneath the tunnel. Okay, that was cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh. And I'm, and I'm a little damp and wet, so I feel not so hot. <laughs> UV index is at 100 right now. I just checked. And it's, uh, it's temperature-wise, it's only 80. It's like 87, 88, 89, but it feels like 97, 98. So it's very hot. Oh, oh. I'm just throttling it. I'm not even pedaling. I'm going to try to make it to that edge, that corner that leads into the tunnel. I'm going to have to stand up here a little bit. And I'm going slow because it's 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 not even ter it's not even ground here, you know. I'm going to be going up that that little uh Kind of like a hillish area. <laughs> kind of it's like a lot of weeds here, geez. I don't have to pedal. I don't want to fall over. So I have to be careful. Ugh. I'm very close to the water. I know there are snakes out here. <sighs> Guys, look at all this grass. Alright, made it, made it, made it. Oh. Oh. My second favorite place here, underneath the tunnel. Uh, you get a lot of breeze. Look at those birds. They look like uh, male, maybe male and female. It's that time of year. Let's see if I can get closer without scaring them too much. If you can see them, I don't know if you can see them, but there they are flying together. They're just chasing each other, two lovebirds. Oh, they were they were flying, <laughs> catching, playing with each other. Let me see if I can zoom in. They're all just hanging out right there. But uh, they were the two egrets. Those are, I think, those are snow egrets, and those are the other regular egrets. One's, one's just trying to catch a fish over there. So that's that's flowing really a lot. I could kayak and make it through. It's rained quite a bit out here, so that's that's good. That means the tunnel's kind of high, I guess. Where's that other bird that was chasing it? Maybe that's the male bird sneaking up. He's trying to sneak up. Are they gonna fly together? Are they gonna fly together now? Yeah, look at that. Oh man, they were flying. They were just flying. And look at those birds playing around. I think they're just fighting for a good spot. But the um, those two birds right there, they're just flying. I don't know if they're trying to mate. One might be a male, the other female. I don't know if they're f fighting each other. Maybe, maybe they're just fighting each other for a good spot. Looks like the other one's taking a turn. Maybe they're just fighting for the spot. That's they were just chasing each other. That was that was cool. My other favorite place to come out here. So I might have a good uh, kayak. Might be able to kayak out here. Looks like there's some board right there. Someone put a piece of board right there. I might be able to kayak right through. It's going to depend. Now, if someone put it, oh, they all flew away. Since they all flew away, let me check it out. What's what's over there?
Yeah, someone piece of someone put a piece of board right here. It is really <laughs> flowing, flowing really good. It is flowing really good. Uh, obviously, erosion has taken place over here. Okay, I'm looking at it. I'm wondering how am I gonna put the board in the way. I'm not sure how I'm gonna <laughs> go be able to be in here. Over here is kind of deep, but uh, hmm. I know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, I guess. But uh, I guess with the with the higher tides, the higher tides, because it just rained, I might be able to. Uh, I might be able to kayak the the lakes around here, the ponds. Someone's trash. Or I'm not sure what that is. Someone's dumped some trash out here. Not sure what the what that's all about. Oh, there's those uh, swan geese. Is it a swan geese? There's a few ducks around here. There's that swan geese. Looks really pretty. I'll try to let me show you what I'm talking about before I get too close because they'll uh, they're pretty shy. But we'll see if I can show you the swan geese. I think that's what it's called, the swan geese. I'm not sure. I did a short. I did a short on it, and someone said it was a swan geese. So I guess I gotta I gotta believe them. See right there. That's the, supposedly the swan geese right there. And over there is a, uh, their flock, I guess. There's some other birds around here as well. There's some birds right there. Another egret, white egret, or snow egret. Looks like just a regular egret, some other ducks. I don't know about you, but I'm having a wonderful, wonderful time. I'm just enjoying myself way too much out here. Look at all the fun things I can do. All right, I'm going to be here for a little bit. I'll be right back. I'm just enjoying the ducks and I'm... Um, I'm actually drying off really fast. I was, uh, yeah, there's that swan goose and the other ducks, a millard duck, I think, and uh, some other ducks. They may be just female ducks. Mostly the males have all the colors, but uh, I could be wrong, you know. I think it's called a millard duck. I'm not sure. Ducks on the lake here, a man made lake. Man made lake, of course. Looks like I got some mud on the tires riding through the uh, dirt. The faster I go, they're starting to flick off. ducks out here, more shorebirds. It's springtime. 
It's, it's really beautiful out here. It's getting really nice. And there's that tunnel. There's that tunnel. So uh, I may consider go kayaking out here. Probably will go kayaking. All right, all right, let's go. All right, that was uh, that was nice. That was a nice little detour. Oh, <laughs> I feel a little flickers of mud off the tire hitting me on the leg. Anyways, that's why it's nice to have fenders. All right, so uh, my next adventure will be kayaking if it's still sunny, if it doesn't rain. Although it's gonna rain in a couple days here, so. Maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe not, I'm not sure. flickering off of me. Anyways, let's get going. Let's go. Let's go. That was a fun little adventure. I love scout. I love scouting. Man, I really enjoy scouting on the uh, on the Red Mini. Going off-road. It has a lot of torque. It's smaller than the Red Rover. More manu maneuverable. Maneuverable. So, just having fun with the Rad Mini today. And probably for the rest of this month, until all the community events. What? Okay, so the community events that are coming up. Uh, let's see, what are the community events that are coming up? Okay, Cinco de Mayo was postponed to June 4th, so that'll be the last community event that I need the Red Mini for. What's the other one? Um, the next one is a BMX stunt. So that's coming up this weekend, this, this Saturday. And then after that, Kid Fish, or two weeks after that, Kid Fish. I know the kids go fishing, it's a fishing contest. They pour, they put like a thousand catfish. They put a thousand catfish into the lakes out here, into one particular lake. Although, although this lake is connected to the other lakes, but they put a thousand catfish, I think, at least a thousand. And then kids, all the kids go fishing and it's a contest, they have it every year. So we'll be doing that. Going to Kidfish, and then Cinco de Mayo, the postponed Cinco de Mayo. Another thing that this community does, they have food truck Fridays. So June 4th is Friday. It's also Havana night for food trucks, like Latin kind of food trucks. So they postponed the Cinco de Mayo celebration to that day, which made more sense because, uh, you know, that Latin theme. It was a concert as well, so they had to postpone that. Yeah, I'm drying off. I'm not feeling cold anymore. <laughs> but uh, the Flexi Freeze vest still is cool. It's cooling me down. Okay, I'm gonna do. Uh... All right. I just, uh, I just did a weasel. I weaseled my way through. That's all I did, weasel my way through. Ew. All right. 
right, just take the sidewalk. Just take the sidewalk. Well, that's what I'm doing anyway, taking the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. I take the top part because one time I took the lower part and, and, a, and a golf cart came through the tunnel, scared the crap out of me. I was like, ah! He stopped, of course. The guy, the guy stopped the golf cart, but it seemed like he was gonna hit me because he's, it, he was like going a little fast. And I just didn't expect it, so so I don't take, I don't take the lower part of that sidewalk. I just stay up here on the high part, the pedestrian part. There, the brakes sound. Uh, I was about to say the brakes sound better than it starts squeaking on me. Okay, I need to go straight. All right, let's wait for traffic, everybody. Wait for my signal. Anyways, I'm headed home. I enjoyed that little scouting. Uh, my next video may be a uh, kayaking video. Normally I'd be very hot, very, very sweating, very thirsty, but my my sleeves are already dry. My The only thing that's not quite dry is uh, my outdoor socks. I can feel that it's still wet. And uh, probably uh, my shorts where, where the waist or the butt area is because the water kind of drains down that way. So I'm still a little damp. My back is a little damp. The Flexi Freeze vest, even though, even though it's not ice anymore, the water packets, the little packs of water, they still absorb your heat. They still absorb your heat. So uh, it does help and plus, because of the way the water packets are set up, they're chambered, then they leave a little channel of air. So as I, the, as the wind hits, it's flowing. So I'm getting a lot of evaporation from my damp shirt, and then the water absorbing some of the heat uh, and some of the condensation. So and and the water itself is still, it's not cold, but it is cool. So that does help because right now it is very humid. It would feel like 97, 98, 100 degrees. But right now, I feel like it's in the lower 80s. So yeah, this, the uh, cooling vest, it does help, it does help. coasting down. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll jump it. I think it's dry enough. It should be dry enough. Okay, good. the Red Mini is a little different than riding the Red Rover and but I but I like it I enjoy it it's a different kind of ride and uh, I love it I love it for scouting I love it for those little off-roads I could probably do the same with the with the Red Rover but with the Red Mini it just has a lot more torque uh, but it's also a little annoying that torquiness uh, at least this model 2018 model has a lot of bit of torque. Very torquey on the low end. Slow down, slow down. I gotta tell myself to slow down here. I flipped my bike and broke my hand. So, uh, gotta constantly uh, remind myself to slow down. Looks like they finally built, built this uh, storage area, storage uh, 
unit. It's a Cube Smart. After all that, just a Cube Smart. Oh man, I'm feeling hungry. I'm gonna be eating, burn some good calories. Let me take the off road again. Yeah, you may not get like top speed out of uh, the Rad Mini, but but you get a lot of low end torque, which which uh, I like about that's what I like about it when I go scouting, explore areas where I live. I don't have to go miles and miles and travel far away to get that experience. I just have it in my own backyard, you know. All right, I'm just gonna go. Okay, I was gonna cut through all that tall grass, so I changed my mind. I don't want to deal with tall grass right now. Just dealing with the uneven roads is good enough for me. Get through here. Okay. All right. The levees are low. I wonder what they're doing here. The levees are low. I guess they released a lot of the water. All right. Whew. tires on these on this rad mini is getting a good workout Missing three bars. Got two bars remaining. It's starting to get overcast. Anyways, it was nice to be out in the sun, even though it's overcast. I just charged the light. I thought I was going to that Cinco de Mayo festival, the concert that we're having. I'll turn it on, just the light. Okay.
always got to look over my left shoulder. Don't have a mirror on this one. Anyway, so, man, I'm not really sweating yet. I'm starting to get a little heated. But, man, I'm starting to, I'm, all my, my arms are dry. Most of my legs for my feet are dry. That's still wet. I can feel a little bit part of my sides and my back. Slightly damp. I can definitely feel the uh, flexi freeze absorb some of that heat because I do feel like cool area, especially when the wind's blowing through me. So yeah, flexi freeze, especially out here where I live, we get a lot of humidity and that humid air, man, keeps you warm. Hard to uh, get uh, evaporation on your sweat, cool you down, so you gotta get really damp. Like really damp, that's why you sweat so much. It's like if, if you've ever been out here where I live down in the South Texas, you know what I'm talking about. It's humid, it's damp, you'll sweat a lot because you need to, that's how much you need to get like wet, wet, like you got out of the shower kind of wet in order to get some cooling relief. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. Get some water. All that good stuff. Everybody had to stop for the school bus. So I'm in the clear right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go through the shortcut. I probably won't because I, I think it is gonna be muddy and wet in some areas. So instead of risking it, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just go through, go, go to the house. Go take the streets. Streets and sidewalk. Whew, I am getting a good workout, that's for sure. I'm starting to get heated now. All that damp, wet moisture is evaporated, so... I'm starting to feel the warm, uh, humid air. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'll call it a day. I'm calling it, I'm calling it a day right now. Anyways, if you like this, if you like the video, please like, share, consider subscribing. And also, I am doing memberships. You get early access to these videos, ad-free, all right? No ads running on those. That's the uh, silver membership. I think the gold membership, you'll get shout outs. I'll read your questions and answer your questions. I'll read your comments and answer your questions if you have any. And I'll do a shout out to you. Okay, I got a green light. And then uh, platinum members, wow. Well, you, you get to tell me what videos you want me to make. You get the request videos and suggest videos. Good for people who want to sponsor some videos. Anyways, thanks for watching. Either way, subscribe. You'll eventually watch this video. You'll just, it'll just be almost one to two months out. Hopefully you like it. Right hand turn. All right, everyone, I'm calling it a day here. Whew, that's good enough for me. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. 
my legs are getting a little exhausted. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time, alright? Bye-bye.